right, guys, ready? Let's Pop, do let's it. go. Yeah. Ladies first. Woo! Let's go, crew. Time. A team assemble. Okay, wow. It feels great out here tonight. I'm Coyote Peterson. This is Pup Peterson. Hi, guys. We got Chance back here behind the light. Hey, Chance. And of course, Mark is there right behind the camera capturing all the action. I'm waving at you guys. He is waving. Okay, right now we are on location in Tucson, Arizona, filming episodes of Breaking Trail. It is nighttime, and what does the Brave Wilderness team do when we're not filming episodes? We go out to look for more animals because we just can't help ourselves, right? Yeah! Now you're excited to get out into the desert tonight, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Now everyone in the Coyote Pack has been asking for longer episodes, so what we're going to do tonight is spend one hour out in the field seeing how many creatures we can come across between right now 11 o'clock and midnight. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> this kid is hyper right now. Now you need to carry a couple things. What I have here is a flashlight. That's a normal flashlight to look for things like snakes or tarantulas and then of course we have a black light which glows and luminesces what species? Scorpions. Scorpions, that's right. Hold and on to this. also is purple. It is purple, which is pretty cool. I also always carry a snake stick just in case we come across. A diamondback rattlesnake. How much candy did you eat yeah, tonight? How much candy I did you eat? I ate 212,000. Boo! This is how you keep an eight-year-old up until midnight. You give him candy. It sounds like you're ready to go. If we find any rattlesnakes, leave catching the snakes up to me. But at this point, I think we're ready to head out in the desert. You guys ready? Let's go. <laughs> All Yay! right. This is going to be awesome. One hour to find as many creatures as we can. Whoa. What the heck is that? Giant desert centipede. Where, where, where? Holy mackerel. Oh, my gosh. It really is. That is insane. Okay. That happened really quickly. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I Get light, 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 light. Got it, got it. <laughs> now, whoa. Whoa. No, 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 careful, careful, Sorry. careful, careful, Okay, there we That's go. That's a real deal. Wow, uh, I cannot believe you saw that. And there's a tarantula right behind you. Is it really? Okay, yeah. I can't, uh, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna get both in the shot. Okay, hold on. Oh, going right towards my hand. Yeah. As we know, if there's this is one your thing, favorite animal. If there's one thing I'm afraid of, it is giant desert centipedes. I'm gonna try to get this thing under control I here. I want him to go by my foot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right? Good. right outside our house, folks. Cool. That's for real. Right, and a bite from this is unbelievably painful, and we want to avoid that at all costs. Ow, ow, ow. Those back legs are gripping onto me as well, and it feels like little pinchers. Oh. Holy cow. Whoa, okay. Heart rate going already. Go ahead, pup. You can get in here a little bit closer. Yay. I got it under control I now. I cannot believe. Guys. I don't think anybody's gonna believe that. I don't think anybody's gonna believe there. that. You guys are gonna think that we put that centipede there. Great spotting. I just saw it without any lights. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's that moving? Is <laughs> it a lizard? Nope, that is a giant desert centipede. Not quite as big as the one that we featured in an episode last year, but wow, that shows you how biodiverse this ecosystem is here in the Sonoran Desert. Walked right out the front gate and came across the first animal of the night. The one that gives me nightmares, that's for sure. Not me, I think they're awesome. Do you want to pet its back? Yeah. Okay, just on, on the scales there of its back, there you go. Oh, it feels so scaly. Isn't that crazy? It is so incredibly oh, powerful Oh, it feels like too. some fish. <laughs> like a fish? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, huh? <laughs> wow, oh, those little feet are just digging into me. Mark, you want to pet it? <laughs> it don't worry, it just, it just kind of oh, yeah. doesn't feel like Pretty anything. Pretty crazy feeling, huh? How about the legs? They, they hurt? Yeah. It, it, Can well, I get by one? kind of spiky. Well, what's interesting about the legs, you see how they're digging into my hand like that? Yeah. That's actually a defense for potential predators. So if something comes in and tries to grab that end, you see that? This end looks like the centipede's head, right? Mm -hmm. So oftentimes predators will catch something from the head so they can mm -hmm. kill it quickly. Unfortunately, in this instance, if you get the rump end, you're not actually getting the head and it can rear around and bite you with those massive fangs. All right, we're gonna let this guy go and take a look at the tarantula that's right behind us. Okay, well, the centipede has safely moved off in that direction, and now we're gonna turn our attention to the wall right there. And most people may see what this is, a giant spider on the side of your house, and be absolutely terrified. But for us, we're pretty excited about it because this is the second animal we found, and we are just outside of the gate. Um, I imagine you guys want me to pick this tarantula up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bring it close to the camera. Yeah. All frightened. There you go. Walk on up. There we go. 
Yeah, it's a good right, tree. Bring that over here. All Ooh, right. Give us a look. Now, most people are terrified of spiders. I, for one, am not. Centipedes, very it. scary. Tarantulas, not so much. Pup, you want to hold it? I do. Well, let it walk onto your hand. Oh. Because now it's well, now it's going on my back. Under it's, your backpack. Under my backpack. That's not great. This is actually really bad. Okay. Okay. I'm going to. Be careful. Gent. Is it under the backpack? Yeah, it is. Do you want me to like scare it out of there? Uh, is it scare out a bowl? Yeah. Let me, let me do this. Okay. There we go. It's off. Okay. Um, Get him up my shoulder. Yeah. Okay. Now he's just going up here. Oh. Your face. Okay. What we want to do? On your hat. He's on your hat. He's on my hat. Is he on my hat? Yeah. yeah. He's okay, pup. If you head. put your hand out in front of the tarantula, it should walk onto your hand real gently. Hang on. Let me see. I can't see what's going on here. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, you have it. So weird. Got it. Okay. Get down low. There you go. Good handle. <laughs> Good handle. So weird. What does it feel I like? like? It, though. it feels like little tiny crawly legs. That's right. Pretty cool, huh? But I think it feels pretty. Nice and comfortable. Now, are you afraid of tarantulas? No, I'm not even afraid of spiders. That's good. Now, a tarantula never wants to bite you, and the only reason it would actually inflict oh, a bite is if you sorry. were to apply pressure to the top half of its body. And you're handling that absolutely perfectly right now. Just let it walk from hand to hand. There you go. Or let it stay calm. Just hold it real still right there. He seems very comfortable on your hand there. Look at that. How old are you? I am eight years old. Eight years old and not afraid of tarantulas. Not even spiders, actually. I think spiders are pretty cool. It has been less than five minutes, and already we've caught a giant desert centipede and a tarantula. There you go. Bye, Desert Harry. We'll see you again. Enjoy your night. All right, high fives. Way to be super brave. Oh, both of us have been brave tonight. Not only with spiders, but also with giant desert centipedes. Are you guys ready to go find some reptiles? I'm ready. Okay. We haven't even left the house. The no, gate's right yeah, there. Just right outside the gate. All right, let's head down to the wash and see what we can find. All right. Woo! I'm excited. Man, what a great start to the night. Okay, we are, you with me, pup? Yeah. We are now getting down to the edge of the wash. Mark, chance to have to come down here. Let's regroup, watch out for those ants. Okay, so at this point we have made it down to the wash and this is like an animal super highway. This is great for us because we're not going to run into any cacti when we're out there, right? No yeah. spikes in the legs yep. and it will allow us to easily see animals. Oh, check this out. Whoa! Alright, come on this side. Oh, come, around. come around. Come around the back. Come around the back. Well, if you were a horned lizard, this would be the right spot to be. I'm not sure what species this is, but wow, they've got quite the mound going. They are not harvester ants, which is good news for me, uh, but I don't think any of us want to be bitten or stung tonight by ants. You don't, right? No. Of course but not. Why don't you? Why don't I? Yeah. Should I put my hand in there and see yeah. what happens? If they don't bite you, who cares then? We know they're not a species that don't bite or sting. Listen to this kid. Yeah, we probably should try it out, right? I'm sure everybody yeah. out there in the coyote pack is thinking, come on, coyote. They're like, say it, guys. I'm not going to stop it. you. Do it, do it. All right, let's see what happens. Do it, dude. Keep it in there for a second. Anything? So far, nothing. Nope, nothing's happening. All right, get off me, guys. Get off. <laughs> well, looks like this is not turning into a bite and sting episode, which is good, because yeah. we didn't intend for it to be one, right? Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. Yay. Ants are cool, but nothing's cooler than rattlesnakes. Salt pee -jid. What do you have? Salt pee -jid. Nice. Don't move, it's a little one. I'm just gonna cup it with my hand. Look at that. Whoa. He's Look at his chubby little abdomen. Oh. It's a porker. That is one <laughs> beefy little soul pugit. Oh, oh. Oh. Look at that defensive post. You see that? Oh, let me get to focus. Whoa. All right, yeah. All right, look at that defensive post. Pup, kind of put your finger down towards the mouth of the soul pugit. Don't worry, it's not going to bite you. As we know, they can't even break skin. You know, go ahead. Let's say, oh, there you go. I just wanted to do its defensive pose. Here you go. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. You see that? As we know, the soul pugit is all bark and no bite. His name is Pork Chop Charlie. Their, their face kind of looks like a spider. It a does. Bit. It's like a mix between a spider and a scorpion, uh -huh. but it is in fact a sulpugid, non-venomous, and in a way, they're kind of cute. I know they are. Look at his little chubby butt. Look at that. How abdomen. could you? Abdomen. You're right. Thank you. His <laughs> little chubby abdomen. That's a pretty good shot right there. All right, let's let him back off into the desert and hopefully come across some reptiles. It's all arachnids tonight. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yep. 
Play a pork chop, Charlie. Have a great day. Here he goes. See you, bud. All right. Bye, pork chop. Woo. Don't forget your snake stick. Oh, pop, thank you. I keep doing that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there is a whole lot of dark desert out there in front of us, and the potential to find reptiles is in our future. Let's and do we're this. we're not scared to go in the dark, dark desert. Nothing scares me about the desert. Yeah. Except for maybe looking. What are we looking for, Coyote? I'm looking for any signs of a rattlesnake. Yeah, I'm, I'm what's, a, what's a sign of a rattlesnake? A snake right in the middle of the wash. And what's interesting about rattlesnakes is that this time of night they will travel right along the side of the wash looking for rodents. So we don't even have to wander off the edges into the cactus and the underbrush. We should be able to find one right here in the middle. Don't walk in that. No, nope, that's another ant mound. Hey, come here, come here. What do you got? Come here, tell me if you see it. What are we looking at? Oh. You see it, Pop? I do. I Martin, come, up, come around this side of Pop. Anything. Look just up underneath the brush. Probably pretty hard to see with my normal flashlight. Let's kill the lights. I don't see anything. Kill the main light. Oh. Look at that. La, la, la. Can you see it now? I see a big old scorpion. Oh, oh go oh. ahead and crouch down. Oh, oh there, there it's coming is. out that side. That is a giant desert hairy scorpion right there. All right, I'm gonna try to grab him. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Nice. Ah! Woo! Let's turn that light on. And that does require some nerves. If you do not get the scorpion right on that last knuckle, you are going to get stung. And what's so dangerous about that, and despite the fact that it's a giant desert hairy scorpion, the venom is no more potent than a bee, but it rears its claws up and then it pinches onto your finger. And every single time, it always gets me and I want to drop the scorpion, but if I do, then you get stung. Okay, Pop, it's safe to come on in here. Okay. Got it Hi. under control. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just let the scorpion sit up on my hand like that so we can get a good shot of it. I have a good firm hold on the stinger. How cool is that? Ah, it's so cool. Giant desert hairy scorpion. Now this is never an arachnid I would want you to try to catch. Yeah. And anyone out there who's watching, this is a venomous animal. Do not try to catch a scorpion if you see it. What is one thing that we know about scorpions? They fluoresce underneath UV light. That's okay. how we were able to spot Let's it. Let's take a look at that one more time. Pup, why oh, yeah. you grab the black light? Grab the black light. Okay. Turn it on. All right, the black light is on. Let's kill the main light. Whoa. Pretty cool, huh? Now here's a cool little trick. If you wanna find out if there are scorpions on or around your house, just go outside at night with a black light and they will glow just like this. I don't know if that's something you necessarily wanna find out. Sometimes it's better to not know than to actually see them all over the side of the house, but uh, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right, you say we let this guy go? Let's yeah. Do it. All right, one more arachnid for the books. One, two, three. But, oh, whoa. Come on. Well, pup, so far you were doing a phenomenal job. Thank you. Helping me wrangle all of these animals. Our but tally, no, I think it's at six animals. Is that what it is? Let's see. Giant desert centipede, tarantula, black, black widow, widow ants, ants, soul pugid, Good. scorpion. Six. What time is it? 11.35. All right. So we got 25 minutes to go. 25 minutes to go. We're doing pretty good at the moment. Yay! All right, rolling. Oh, wow. Okay. Come on up. Come slow. Where are they venomous? Woo! No, not venomous. Yeah. All right, let's go and check it out. I got it. I got it. You going to bring it to the wash? I'm going to come in and bring it to the wash. Wow. Hold on. Let me get under control. It's going to be frisky now. Very pretty Very, snake. very beautiful snake. This is really cool. All right. We've never caught one of these out here. That's the cactus, dude. Back up, back up. Everybody oh. away from the cactus. This right. is awesome. Okay, let's come over here. Wow. Yep, you can hold this snake, actually. Actually. Okay, come on over here. Wow, look at that pup. That is a long-nosed snake. One of the safest species out here, and actually a species that I'm comfortable with you holding. You wanna hold it? Yeah. Okay, here you go. There you go, careful, careful. You got it? There you go. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. So you're not afraid of snakes either? Not afraid of spiders? Not afraid of snakes? No. Okay, I'm you're, like... earn, you're earning your, uh, your nickname, huh, pup? Yeah. Look at how beautiful it is. Now, what does it feel like? 
It feels like rubber. It does, doesn't it? If you all, and look at how shiny and smooth this snake is. Now, these snakes look like king snakes and they're really easy to misidentify, but what they're out here eating are lizards and little rodents. We know that king snakes eat rattlesnakes and other snake species. If it was a rattlesnake, you know you couldn't hold it. Yeah. But long-nosed snake, totally safe to handle. No matter what, when you're out there in the desert, especially in an area with venomous snakes, always make sure you identify the snake first before you attempt to handle it. Now this species, totally safe. King snake, totally safe. Rattlesnakes, not, not safe. so much. Well, let's keep heading up the wash and maybe we'll come across a rattler. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. What do you think that was in front of you? Oh, it's just... oh. yeah, that's what happens to me. Whoa, 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 I heard something. What'd you hear? Something in these grasses right here. Probably kangaroo rat, but let me take a look first. I saw it. Got it. Nice spotting, Thup. Finally, a little reptile. Look at that. You have some thorns in the back, so it's Yeah, terrible. I know. I can feel that. Yeah. Look at that. Here you go. You hold on to that. That was your spotting. I dive under that cactus to catch it. Ouch. So tell everybody at home what that is. This is a western banded gecko. And this is another completely safe reptile species to capture out here in the desert. This is actually one of my favorite reptiles. Let me see. Because you can sleep through them. To catch at night. That's right. Look at this. Oh, oh, come here, little guy. Look at the belly. It's semi-translucent. And you can see all little organs working inside there. Can you see that on your camera? Yeah. Can I see? Isn't that cool? He likes a little belly rub. Give him a belly rub. Belly, belly, belly rub. <laughs> How cute is that cute. little lizard? Now, Maybe it is a them. very delicate lizard species. You never want to try to catch this one by its tail because they will detach their tails. And the tail is where they store all of their fat reserves. There you go, you wow. hold on to it. Coyote, so is this guy, uh, is he nocturnal? It is nocturnal. You see how soft and delicate the skin is? If yeah. it's out during the middle of the day, the heat from the desert will actually cook this little animal. So yes, you notice how it's so much cooler out tonight? Yeah. Definitely a nocturnal species. Okay, well, pup, since I caught him, but you spotted him, why don't you do the honors of giving this little lizard a name? His name shall be Chiger, mixed with a cheetah and a tiger. I like it. Sounds perfect. All right, let him go right back over here. Okay. Bye, Tiger. Hopefully we'll see you someday. We found something. Like we're walking and literally I said, what is that? And right there in front of us is a spade foot toad. All right, puppy, you got this catch? Real gentle. Good job. Hey. Excellent work. Hold it just like you would a normal toad. And a frog. All right, bring it towards the camera. Hello. Round down there. That's Look beautiful. at that. What? Look at those buggy eyes. Now, spadefoot <laughs> toads spend a great deal of their year buried underground. And I bet you today, because we had that monsoon rain push through, this guy dug himself up from underneath the sand. Wow. Can I see? Yeah. Wow. That is one buggy looking little toad. Wow. Wow, look how he does that bubble. That is pretty crazy, isn't it? He is really cute. Well, our first amphibian of the night. How awesome is that? Yeah. You want to let him go? Yeah. Well, you let's know let what? Let Hopper go. You know what? Y you named him. His name's Hopper. Name is <laughs> Hopper. There you go. Let him go right back onto the ground there. All right. Bye. Bye, Hopper. Okay, well, we were about to call it a night. We were getting just back to the house. Puppy back there. All right, you're behind the cameras. We've got a Western Dimeback rattlesnake right here. I'm gonna move up slow. Oh, and look at this scorpion coming down right here next to us too. The snake just scared this giant desert hairy scorpion right into the scene. <laughs> Things are out everywhere tonight. All right, I'm gonna slowly bring the snake down here under the wash so we can get an up close shot. All right, pup, stay safe distance back. As we know, this is a Western Diamondback and it is venomous, but how cool is that? Topping off our night with one of the most dangerous snakes that's out here in the Sonoran Desert. Ah, 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 you stay, you stay. And all he wants to do right now is get back off up into the desert to hunt for rats. There we go. That's exactly what we want. Stay calm. And I guarantee you because the monsoons just moved through, everything is moving through the wash at the moment. That makes 
10 animals tonight in just a little over an hour. How awesome is that? Sweet. Pup, are you seeing this? Yeah. Pup's staying behind me. We gotta be safe. Yeah, the safest situation here is to definitely keep Pup far back from the snake behind the cameras. Uh, Pup, you got to be in front of the cameras with everything else tonight, but it's awesome for the coyote pack just to see this animal. And I bet you guys thought we were gonna go the whole night without seeing a rattlesnake. I think we have literally seen it all tonight here in the Sonoran Desert. All right, rattlesnake is up under the prickly pear cactus right, and in a burrow. Come on in here, pup. Totally safe now. Woo, how awesome is that? That was awesome. Do you have a great time tonight? Yeah. Well, guys, this is how we totally spend our free time when we're not actually filming breaking trail episodes, and nothing could have topped the night off better than a western diamondback rattlesnake. I'm Coyote Peterson. And I'm Pup Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. All right, let's go. Woo! If you enjoyed this on location episode, make sure to go back and watch the time I climbed up a tree to get some coconuts and caught an iguana. And don't forget, subscribe to the Brave Wilderness channel so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure. Have you done this before? No, I've never opened a coconut before. I've also never climbed a palm tree to get a coconut or climbed a palm tree to get a coconut and catch an iguana, so it's a first for everybody this so, morning. Safe to say you're a coconut rookie. Yes, I am a complete rookie and I hope I don't cut my thumb off doing this. All right, you ready? Here we go.